Hi, once again, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Colorado store. This is going to be another video on how to use DaVinci Resolve to edit your drone footage. Today we're going to be doing a piece on how to use the speed controls. And in the first video, uh, you get the little link there that shows kind of how to use some basic retiming. We're going to go into a little more depth on retiming and see some of the really cool stuff that you can do with it. So I've already got my video ingested. I've got it optimized. I have my settings all set properly for the rendering. I'm going to use the smart render cache and set my proxy mode to quarter resolution. All right, I'm set to edit. So here I'm going to take a piece. We're going to see what this is. Okay, little bike ramp and take a little off screen to set my out point. And again, this is all the stuff we talked about in the first video is setting the ins and outs and doing the basic editing. So now I've got my piece there and I'm gonna add it to my timeline. Okay, I'm gonna spread this open some so we can really play around with this particular piece. And it's probably gonna be too much as we slow it down. All right, now Command R or Alt R to bring up the speed timing controls. And remember, we can just adjust this to make it slower or spread it out to make it faster. But let's say we want a nice slow mo on that bike jump. Oh, going the wrong way, of course, right? So let's take it to about 50%. And we can see he comes in nice and slow. Yeah, I mean, that's really all we have to do. We can come over to the optical flow and set that up so that it does the best job on, you know, smoothing it out. Again, we talked about that in the first video, so we're not gonna cover the basics. But if this is all you wanna do, hey, you're in pretty good shape. But let's say we wanna really spice this up a little bit and have him go full speed until right when he hits the jump, probably like right here, slow it down there, slow it down even more up here, and then start speeding it back up. That's something that's really difficult to do in most other video editors. Uh, Final Cut, it's it's basically impossible without spending money for a high-end plug-in. Premiere, it's fairly difficult to do. It's a, it's possible, uh, it's a little easier in After Effects, but you're, you're talking a lot of money for software where this is a free tool. So I'm gonna come over here and look at my retime curve. Now this is kind of showing frame by frame. I'm gonna turn that off with the first little click here. I'm gonna turn off the retime frame and turn on the retime speed. So now this controls how fast everything's going. Let's go to the spot right here where he hits the, the front of the ramp. Now this is where I wanna start slowing things down. So I'm gonna option click right there to set a point and right when he comes back, we're gonna set another point there just for reference points. Okay, now I want to slow this down. Well, I can do that. Let's bring this timeline in really tight here. Now let's just see what we've got. So right where he hits that, it really slows it down. The problem with this is it's it's just a cut from full speed to the slow speed. Let's speed this up just a, a tad there. Let's see how that looks. But like I said, it goes from the full speed to the slow speed a little too quickly. This is where the power of resolve comes in. So we're gonna click on that keyframe and change it to the curve right there. Now you see how it just smoothed that out all of a sudden? And I can 
adjust that, I can move the points, I can smooth it out even more. But let's see how that ends up looking. Looks way more, more natural as he comes in and then he takes off. Now it's too fast on the takeoff, so we're going to do the, or the landing. Let's go ahead and fix that. Now let's see how the whole thing looks. Turns around and now it starts speeding back up and by the time he's down it's back to full speed and again we can take this with these Bezier curves and I can smooth out how quickly or how quick or how quickly or how slowly it transitions from the full speed to the slow-mo you can see this looks very very natural but by the time he's at the peak it's at its slowest and then right when he hits, it starts speeding back up again. It's a very cool effect for the slow motion. Now again, this isn't going to be perfect because I was working with footage that was shot at 24 or 29 or you know 30 frames per second. For the best results, you want to use faster footage. So like this piece here, this was regular speed. And again, we can slow this down like we just did. But if I go to this other clip that was filmed at a much faster frame rate, you can already see the playback is much slower. So this was actually filmed on a DJI Mavic at 96 frames per second. So it's naturally slow. And what this does, it gives me the ability to speed it up without losing any image quality while maintaining that super slow speed. So again, let's drop this one onto the timeline. Now I'm going to uh, turn off the uh, retime curves here. And uh, Okay, we're going to go over to this piece here and again let's bring up that retime curve we'll turn the frame off we'll, or, and turn the speed on now remember this is already going to be slow so we want to actually speed up the parts that we want to be regular speed okay right there he hits the ramp i think that's a good spot to put a point and then we'll roll it forward until he's right there on the ground now this is where this one gets interesting because where the last one we slowed down this one we're going to speed up so if I shot it at 96 frames per second and my output here is 30 frames per second I need to go 300% to get to regular speed, right? So let's take that up to 300% and let's take a look at how that looks. So he comes in at that full speed. And then again, on this side, we'll take that up to 300%. And right there, He does a little turn and back to full speed. Again, let's smooth these out like we did the last time, switching these to the curves. Take a look again. And then it'll start speeding back up, back to full speed. So that's your basics on changing video speed with 
DaVinci Resolve. You can see it's got a lot of power, it's very easy to use, it's fairly intuitive, and there's a couple different ways of doing things, but make sure that you just play around with it, and the speed ramping, I think, is absolutely phenomenal. So can't wait to see what you guys are coming up with with your own videos. Again, this has been Kerry. We will catch you next time. Bye-bye.